Hi, oh hi, Gamma on on that soon. Kill my name today. We're going to continue right now. Uh, Angels of Death episode two. Without further ado, let's fucking do it. <laughs> let's fucking go. Yeah, we're here right now. Yeah, last time we just escaped this freaking room that took us a lot of time. By Becca, was it? Benny, Becca? I forgot the name of the girl right now. Betty! Yeah, Betty. The interior is burned black and devoid of anything. God damn. Well, it's a mir miracle kill that we escaped from that. Wait, that's a human, right? That's a silhouette of a human. Okay, then that person's dead, unfortunately. I'm a little surprised he got out of that predicament. <laughs> Incredible. I hate to admit it, but you deserve props. As a bonus, I've opened up the door, hehe. <laughs> that was the deal from the start, duh. Stupid belittling bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking bitch. Hey. There's no telling what's beyond here, so try to stay close. I'll do what I can. Hey, you good? Can you not walk any faster? Hey, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm been chilling. Oh man, we're never gonna get anywhere this pace. Keep going? I'd like to be impossible, but I just get stuck somewhere if I went by myself. It's okay. I can walk. Sure you won't pass out and die on me? I'll do my best. What do you mean do your best? If you die that won't mean shit. Sure that is your wish and all but what about mine? It won't be granted if you kick the bucket. Yeah you're right. Oh okay, then I need to do even better from now on. Man, you're right, though you always just treat yourself like some sort of pull string doll. What should we do? Just shut up while you're ahead. You're human, right? Think for yourself. Wait. Huh? If we wait for a bit, the dizziness should go away. Just chill the fuck down, Isaac. Hey. <laughs> the camera can't see us here. I'll wait here so hurry up. Okay. Okay. Now it's the time to talk, man. And she looks ghost white and even more doll like when she's asleep. It's nice that she does what she's told, but always answering with a yeah or yes. Is she a robot? 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 How dull. I'm just wondering why I'm getting so bent out of shape over all of this. Uh, could the poison from earlier be in my system too? There's no use in thinking of pointless shit like this. I'll also take it easy for a bit. Yeah, you better been chilling now after all of that smoke that you've got and all of the poison and everything. Uh, you surely are tired right now. Better, better be chilling for now. Hey, you know that kid that got here this month? Uh, I smell something foul, so went to check it out and he's dead as a doorknob. Oh, is that right? Uh, so what do we do about it? Oh wait, is it? Wait, are they referring to that one kid that died? Throw it in the yard. Again? You sure that's okay? Nobody's gonna come looking for a kid they dump up here for a chicken feed. But I can stand it. Touching something decomposed is gross. Listen to how selfish you sound. Ah, uh, that reminds me. Is that other kid still alive? That kid. The one looks like a disfigured monster with burns. Who? Oh, him? Yep, still alive and kicking. Nobody's been feeding him either. Must be foraging for scraps or something. The whole thing makes my screen crawl to be proud. Wait, are, they, are you referring to that? Isaac? I don't know. Hey, we should just let him bury the, 
Hey, we should just let him bury the dead kid. Let one kid take care of the other. Oh, no, no, no. It's the guy. That's an option. I tried it out once more before. He just silently buried the body. Oh, really? It's perfect, right? The less scraps that are left, the less the garbage stinks. Plus, we're short-handed. Who would have thought keeping a monster alive would be so handy? It's like a tool of sorts. A robe pitting of a monster, as it were. Yeah, sounds good to me. Well, consider our problem solved. It's movie time for me, and don't give me hell for it this time. Gross, it's that splatter horror flick that you are obsessed with, right? I'm in love with that movie. That scene where those upbeat morons get slaughtered always gives me a kick. You're sick, you know that? I can't stand that movie. The killer doesn't even die at the end. Seriously, can you please not watch that? Didn't you leave the house with it playing the other day? I'm gonna watch it whether you like it or not. Now go have him take care of that corpse. Okay. Mr. Boss of this entire building. I wonder, I wonder who they are. Zack. Zack? Huh? Yup. Zack? Can you walk? Yeah, I'm fine. I feel quite refreshed actually. In that case, let's get a move on. Because of you, I saw something sickening. Oh well, guess we gotta move on now. Guess we're been chilling from now on. Hey, since you're here, I thought I'd extend my offer once more. Are you sure eternal imprisonment doesn't track your pants, eh? I told you I'm sure it's fucking rain. Get up my back about it, you fucking bitch. Quit acting like it's some paradise or something. I know very well that ki what kind of miserable existence you're offering, so back off. Ah, no takers. You don't wish to be played to be played things for my enjoyment, huh? I'm referring to you when I say play things. I mean, seeing the both of you together is just comical. You made some odd promise with each other, no? Precarious promises which are mere acts of pushing your selfish agendas upon one another. Well, at the first you have mutual interest on the surface, in actuality, you are merely playing one another. But the question is, who's really playing whom? Huh? What do you mean by that? Oh, listen to me prattle on. Not getting true, am I? Of course I'm not. You're sinners, you are sinners for a reason. Such typical sinners. I love it. Oh, and that foolish girl quite a cutie. is quite a cutie, isn't she, Zack? Oh, I hope you continue having fun getting punished. It's you, stupid. Playthings. Damn, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Zack? Don't talk to me right now. Let's go. Playing with each other. Oh ho ho! I see. I see. I wonder if this leads to the very first fork in the path. Probably, right? Yeah. Could be. What's wrong? I think I hear some sort of voice. The recesses of the jail room are dark and not visible. A foul stench permeates the air. I don't want to see that. No, no, no. Wait, it just smells as if something is rotting. No, 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 no. Let's move on. Hey, what games? Voices? Voices? Oh. Uh, again? Oh, huh? What's wrong? Something resembling a human hand is moving. A hand? Let's chop it up. 
one of the bitches prison victims, huh? Yeah. It's in such shitty shape that his body crumbled just by stepping on it. It's happened because he chose that eternal imprisonment offer that bitch mentioned. This guy is more worthless than tits in a fucking bull. Looks like there's people even dumber than me. I mean, yeah, if you're in this situation, you better go fucking, you know, save your life and shit like that rather than become a prisoner or become a slave into this fucking thing. I ain't taking any, I ain't taking no chances in this game. If I'm gonna be here IRL, if I'm gonna be Zack, yeah, I would have this bitch type attitude, you know, like, shut the fuck up everyone, I'm gonna fucking kill you all, I'm gonna get the hell out of this place alive, you know? <laughs> Hey, don't mess with it. It's already dead. It's not alive. It's not alive. Huh? Or not though? You think? Or I take it back all of what they said? <laughs> Let's get out of here. We've wasted enough time on this bullshit. Okay. Well, we gotta move on then. Let's go inside this. Oh no, there's spikes on the ground, shit. Uh, it's dark and barely visible, but the floor looks steadily. Oh! Is that it? Oh, it's her again. Betty. Hello, Betty. <laughs> Greetings, welcome kids. Congratulations on making it this far. Uh, as you can see, make one wrong step and you'll fall to your spiky demise. <laughs> but it's actually not as bad as I make it out to be. There are just two paths. Yep, the path for each just winds up in slightly different place. That's all. Which path to take is entirely up to you. Well, Punishment way to be on here as well, Joe, right? Anyways, which will it be? Well, there are two of you after all. Isn't it about time to end this silly chara charade? Giving you your childish promises is almost laughable. I think it's an unfair promise considering you will die anyway. Well, enough about that. In this room anyways, the both of you won't be taking the same path. <laughs> Best of luck. I'm waiting to see you get condemned first. Okay then. Pretty so, girl. Shit. Why she gotta make everything so tedious? When the hell can I get out of here? I gotta keep my cool. That stupid cackling bitch. I wanna chop her to bit so bad. Hey, what are you still spacing out for? After you take care of that woman, be sure to kill me too once we're out. Fuck. Man, you got a one-track mind. You don't seem willing to kill me after all. It's because of that vacant look of yours. Oh, and my promise with you is not good until after we get out of here. I'm aware. Do something about that vacant doll face there of yours in the meantime. And while you're at, stop asking me stupid shit, got it? But a promise a promise. Quit ordering me around so much. Okay, tell me my saying. <laughs> Let's get going. Yeah. The passage continues on the other side. Looks like we can make it if we jump. Jump? That far? I'll never make it. Oh shit, alright, want me to chuck you over then? Can you repeatedly fling me over to the other side? Yeah, I think so, that will work. Well, if I screw up, then you'll fall head first. Flinging you is a cinch. Uh, the problem is I can't control how hard they throw you. In that case, let's not. Well then... I guess you gotta go over here. Hey, what's the matter? 
This rope bridge could snap at any moment. I'm not sure if it's sturdy enough for me, let alone the both of us. Oh, there's no point unless we both get out of here. Damn. J just one at a, at a time. Hey, what's the plan? We're getting nowhere fast. We have no choice but to split up. Huh, will we make it if we do that? I'm not sure. Not sure? What the hell happens if we die? I mean, we're dead. <laughs> what happens? Ah, uh, fine. Sorry for asking something so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're already dead, so... It doesn't even matter. Let's move. Okay. I barely make it across. The gun? We got no just for the cross and make sure not to get shot. Oh no! <laughs> Shit! Oh, I need to run. Okay, okay. I forgot that I need to run. Okay, okay. Uh. Run! 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 Somehow, I somehow made it true. Zach? Oh. What's this? Zach and I are shown on the screen? Hey, another gun? Hope she's not getting ideas. Any ideas about getting herself killed? Oh man, there's no point in thinking about this bullshit. Oh, you just gotta jump over the floor and uh, cross to the other side, eh? What the hell? Which way do I jump? Oh shit, but I'll get there if I improvise. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait. You can't go there? Shit, I can't jump that far. Damn, which way do I go? Go back, Zack. How? Why? I can see you on the screen over here. Zack, jump the direction I tell you so you can pass through safely. Zack? I heard you for the first time. All I need to do is go back, right? Yes, if you pr proceed as I say. Knock it off. I think I can get back on my own. If you say so. Oh. Okay, gotta go back. Oh, shit. Lower right. Zack, take the lower right. I'll turn back to quit parking out orders, you hear? I suspect that this reached a dead end. Oh shit! Lower right! Yeah, lower right! Then down. Then left. Oh shit, did I did it wrong? Lower right? Mm, lower... Wait, where did you went? Wait, wait. Are we supposed to keep going down earlier? Okay, okay. Oh wait, then down now. Zack, are we supposed to keep... I'm trying to... Zack, when you get back... Take four spaces to the left and jump up to the floor above. Okay, four spaces to the left and jump up to the floor above. Zack? Yeah, yeah. Uh, jump four spaces to the left. From there, jump to the upper left. And jump up from there. The only way to go is up, Dodge. Frame me the details. I can see you on the screen, so I thought it would be quicker for me to tell you that, and if you don't make it across, I'll sort of be worse off. I'm not some fun in the game of chess. Quit treating me like one. Okay, then this one over here? Oh, oh, that works. Oh. Wait, that's it. Yo. Zack. There's two different doors, one here and one over there. So it would seem. What's the plan? Other than to keep going, I'm not entirely sure. 
You sure you still ain't got any poison in, in your system? Your face looks phased out. I'm fine now. Well, I guess all we got we can do is keep going. Yeah, I know I'll do what I can. Duh! Do you want me to kill you? Yes. Miss Biz. <laughs> oh my god, Zach. When will you learn? Oh, wait. Can they see each other? Is the room beyond the iron bars where Zach went? Yeah. Oh shit. It is a syringe filled with something. Zach, this room. The door is locked, and all that's here is this wrench. So what the hell are we supposed to do now? Shoot up and get high? A syringe and I'll go check it out. Wait, is there something in the syringe? Oh shit, full of something. The needle is sharp and appears to be the real deal. What kind of drug is this? Is in this? Oh shit. Oh, it's her now. It's her now. Hello! We finally get to meet in person! It's Caddy, Caddy Ward. Damn, she's kinda hot though. What, a psychopath? <laughs> My goodness, what if you are here? That's more than I planned for, but I've got a feeling we're in for a treat. You sadistic bitch, what the fuck is it this time? Oh, Zach, why so hostile? Is that the way you talk to a beautiful lady? Some things never change. But that's also what makes me so hot for you. Zip it, how about you come down here so I can slice you up good? Silly boy, you're the one who will make your demise. Hey, what's your plan this time? Hey, Rachel Garner, what do you think a syringe is for? To inject medicine into the body. Bingo! The door in this room will unlock when each of you inject those syringes. One contains a healthy dose of vitamins, while the other has a not so healthy dose of something else. The something else has a potent chemical capable of lulling you to sleep and tormenting you with nightmares. Goodness, you may not even wake up. Which syringe is it? As if I tell. I forgot. Anyway. Originally. Originally. This room was designed so someone would have to make the right or wrong choice. You saw how the pad forked in the room earlier, right? If luck is on your side, you'll inject the vitamins. Otherwise, you'll inject the deadly chemical. A game of chance, you will. But... There was a miscalculation on my part. There's two of you? Surely you knew this would have happened. Oh, you unseemly child. A good head on your shoulders is all you have going. I was monitoring you, but just as Zach says, you're so dull. I didn't, bitch. Well, that's enough boring chit chat. Since there's two of you, I'll make a special tweak to the rules. Swapping the syringes is allowed, plus one of you can inject both of them. However, make sure to inject it to the last drop. There will be hell to pay for any shenanigans. You'll never see the light of day again. And on that note, my lovely sinners, <laughs> excuse me, I wish you the best of luck. Okay then, you psychopath lady. Zack. Shit. It's gonna be bad. Hey, bring me the syringe. Wait, what? Okay, acquire the syringe. I get it now, but... Here it is. Oh. Hey, do you know which one's little? Uh, uh, I thought so. I have no clue either. What's the plan? 
It would be cold day in hell before I die in a shithole like this. That woman can suck it. Alright, want me to inject both of them? Well, do you really think you'd ever wake up again after that? We'll find out, or do you want to give it a shot? Me? Hell no! Anyway, we don't know which is drug, so it would be better to know which one of us will be affected. If you don't, then I'll do it. There's no telling what's gonna happen though. Not sure? What happens if we kill over and die? What happens? I mean, if you, if you or me die, then what the fuck are we gonna do? Which is war won't come true, but that... Oh? Uh? Huh? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. No. Oh, that's right. You have a dead wish. Sorry, I asked something so dumb. Dumb. That bitch is right. You and I are both playthings. Well, I don't get the whole swearing to God thing, but as long as you die, you're happy, right? So, tell me something. Is that big at the look on your face because you've surrendered your, your you've surrendered yourself to death? Yeah, she's like so gloomy now. <laughs> like ever since the second episode. This sucks hard. I'm being placed by a lifeless doll. Even so, I'm not gonna play into that bitch's hands. Getting the hell out of here is my top priority. So, I'll do as you say. Huh? Uh, give me that. Wait, that's my syringe. Shut up. If you're gonna bitch about it, do it after taking care of yourself. But, this chemical looks dangerous. But it's not poison, right? If this kills me, that means you will die soon after. In that case, it would be better for me to inject it. Wait. No more waiting. Oh shit. He put it both. Oh fuck. It opened. Oh shit. Hey, let's get a move on. I think that the other one is an antidote and the other one is the poison, so that might interconnect to one another? Question mark? I don't know. But obviously shit man. I don't want Zack to be dead. Fuck. No, I don't want to be Zack to be dead, man. Ah, uh, shit, my head won't stop spinning. I'm seeing stars. Oh shit, no, Zack. Fuck. Ah. Uh. What the fuck is that? Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, is it a carpet? I don't know what that thing is. Holy shit, man. Uh... Yeah, they're both together, and then this is Salmon guy. And then they go boom boom. There's a lot of blood, yeah I know. There's a lot of cheat. Okay. Was this foreshadowing to the future, question mark? Uh, that makes sense. Ah, that makes sense. That's what I should do. Oh. Oh shit, Zach, you're good. You're good, buddy. Zach. Zach, are you okay? Wait, what? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm fucking pretending to kill. I'm gonna go crazy. I see. Oh, so that's the poison. Do I still like? Uh, that's right, I forgot about you. Oh. What? You okay with that? Huh? 
We haven't made it outside yet. Besides, my face still has that vacant stare, doesn't it? Are you threatening me, threatening me at your all this time, huh? No. You swore to God that you would do this for me. And so this oath is yours as well. Now, I'm not ordering you or asking a favor of you. I'm just asking. Is that okay with you, Zach? Man, you're dumb. Even a lifeless bore of a girl like you is hard for me to resist killing right now. I mean, if I was able to resist, then this wouldn't be happening to me now. But, even I hate lies. Catch my drip? Yeah. Good girl. Please. <gasps> Let's go. For now, don't die. Hey, let's... Oh, wait, what? I can't like that. Kill me right now. Gotta get away. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh. Did we went the right door? Oh no, a dead end? Wait. What am I seeing right now? Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Hello! Glad you made it this far! Sorry to interrupt just when things were getting good. After all, this room is for execution by gunfire. I thought I might as well shoot you. Take a look. See all the guns around you. Okay, now that's loud. <laughs> I'm gonna open the electric fan. Oh shit, there's a lot of guns right now. Each of these are hard with just a pushable little all button. Isn't it lovely? Oh shit. So Zack is hallucinating right now and <laughs> we're in this fucking room getting bulleted. Getting a lot of we're getting a lot of poles now. But we you're falling out with each other was absolutely hilarious. Especially you, Zack. What an exemplary and perfect specimen of a sinner you are. The way that even if you struggle, in the end you can't fight your maniacal tendencies is just so lovely. <laughs> I can do that laugh, holy shit. That's so high pitch. Shut up. Zack, stay away from me or you're dead. There, there. The bullet in your body has restored some of your rationality. Now look at you. You can't resist killing? Resist, huh? Oh, so that... Like, literally... Goes you into break strike mode, huh? Hey, we shall garner. What? Here we go! Oh, there's a gun! Oh shit! As long as you have that, you should both be even Steven, right? Now, let's have a duel to the death! Whoever survive, survives get an even more lovely death! I will literally shut you right now. What is the point of doing something like that? Silence, you boring brat! Oh, I seek meaning! What do you think that will get you? There's no way that would ever amount to anything for a sinner. That's precisely why there's no need to seek meaning. Oh, I got the gun. Okay, now put on an entertaining show. Uh. Oh. Wait a minute.
Are you actually... Don't... Can it be that you're scared to pull the trigger? Can you not break away from that insipid, boring child? Oh shit. I ain't shooting, man. You're gonna do it. Make it quick. No. Even if you don't shoot, I can't resist killing you. No, I ain't shooting, man. Don't. No. I won't do it. I see. I'm planning to kill. I'm sorry. I'm making you kill someone as boring as me. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. That'll probably make me feel shitty. Didn't I tell you that if you're gonna shoot, then do it. At this range, you won't miss. I won't shoot at you. No, I ain't shooting, man. <laughs> Don't you know what'll happen to you? Oh, that's right. Yeah, but that fish. You do, but this isn't right. Yeah, this is this is what is in my heart. Zach can kill me, but that woman. I will not be a puppet for that woman. I won't. No. I mean, both you and I are not her playthings. Hey, let's go! Zach, you're back. Killing and being killed are both her decisions to make. Yeah, that's her only thing. No outsiders in this bitch. <laughs> After all this time, now you finally said something worthwhile. <laughs> Can't hold back any longer. Hey, you could at least smile. Do it now. No. Fine smiling. <gasps> I smile. Man, you suck. That dead look in your eyes. But yeah, but it was genuine then. I love it. Just imagining that I'm killing you puts a smile on my face. So much that I could even kill myself. Wait. Oh, no, Zach. Ah. Hey. Absolutely horrifying. I take that back. You're not exemplary. Facial garden is a half baked sinner. I think that Isaac is foster is a suicidal fool ruled by desire. Oh, it saddens me so. Uh, this revelation will cast rain on my condemning parade. Rachel, if you were any more dull, I'd die. I don't recall you being in charge of deciding that. I can get no joy from punishing you. No, oh, it torments me, Rachel. If it comes to this, then Zack would be better. You would've looked so good riddled with bullets too! Wait, is Zack dead? If you can't pull the trigger, then you're nothing but a half-baked sinner! So, why were you able to make it here? Oh well, it's rather boring, but you will have to be riddled with bullets! Uh, it's not alive, no! Oh my, you live through that? Go heal her, man! Can't be! You really are a monster that doesn't disappoint! How lovely! Will they kill Zack? Of course! I mean, I'm the only one who can punish such a lovely sinner, right? Stop it! Stop it! Oh. Go ahead and shoot! Oh! Will I do it? Sorry to be a bearer of bad news! But that gun was never loaded from the very start. Well, it's not like it matters. A half-baked sinner like you could never shoot it in the first place. But I have to admit it that I admire your spunk to turn the gun on me. Bang! <gasps> no! Oh shit. Wait. No. Alright. Might as well punish him since his life's been prolonged and he's in prime form. Hey, no. No, 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 no. 
Wait, is that thing again? Yeah, from the very beginning. Oh shit. Okay, she saw it. From before? Who could that be? No. I want to I want to let you kill him. Sag is meant to kill me. Where did you get that hunt gun? Bang. Whoa ho ho ho. No. Where did you get that gun? You slut. So this is your sinful true self? That's great. You sinful girl. I'll punish you. Punish you. I'll punish the demon lurking underneath that collected face of yours. Shove it. Oh shit. Huh? Oh, her, her hands got chopped. Stupid sadistic bitch. You've been shot so don't look so happy. Thanks to you. I wanna kill and kill and kill. Oh damn. I'm loving them. You're, you're kidding, right? This is reality. Wake up. Well, oh, but she flashed right out. Oh, her hands all chop up now. Oh shit, Zach. Uh oh oh. Damn, he's dead. Her arm and abdomen have been slashed. R.I.P. Betty. Zach, are you alright? My stomach hurts like hell, duh. Zack, earlier, you take joy in slicing your own stomach? Huh? Don't get me confused with that sadistic bitch. I just figure it out would be better than killing your boring ass and being killed by that bitch of a jailer. You see her face? Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> you did me proud too. I feel like a new man. Really? Got a bit of a flesh wound in my stomach, but it's nothing. Alright, let's get going. Are you alright? Oh, pff, this ain't nothing. Okay, but know your limits. Put a cork in it. Worry about yourself. A red handgun, it isn't loaded well. Any buttons are. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. We will get. Bada bing bada boom by then. Wait, but that wouldn't hurt if we tried. <laughs> oh. Huh? What's this? This is how she made those sounds and fired the guns. Oh, so that's her thing. I see. I thought that would be like killing us or something. A plethora of buttons lined the device that appears to be useless floor, so this is right shit. Okay, so this is your gaming setup, gaming room. Uh, very nice, very epic, I say. I could see that, but... So the door is locked. You're shitting me, what an annoying bitch. Yeah. But what's the plan? I'm not sure, but the door might open if we operate the machine here. That would work. Beep -boop, beep -boop. Surveillance video, video is for each room, a video delivery system, a trap activation system. There it is, the door release button. I'm surprised that bitch was able to pull the strings from back here so well. There's also an elevator passage button. I'll go ahead and open it too. Oh, open it, open it! Beep -boop. It should be open now. Alright, we did it! Yahoo! Let's go! Well then, rest in peace, Petty. You will not be missed for sure. Hmm, where does this lead this go? Beats me. Yeah. Oh wait, in the very beginning. 
What the? This place seems familiar. It's the first area we passed through. Don't tell me that cocky bitch has been around here right under our nose the whole time. Well, it doesn't really matter. She's warm food. I'm pretty sure this place had an, another of an open door. I think it's for the elevator passage. Nice. What are we waiting around here for? So let's blow this popsicle stand. Wait, this one? Could it be this one? To God give thy name, and thou shalt be admitted entrance. If thou art free from the sea, offer the name which resides within thee, and then thou know thyself. Know this, God values not to corrupt. Okay. Hey, how long are you gonna be reading that for? Is something interesting written down there? Oh, not especially. Oh, well, why were you so serious while you read it? There's God. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, give the name. Thou shall give your name and it will give you admitted entrance. And if you're not gonna be deceived, just offer the name which resides within this. And then you're gonna know yourself. Know this. God probably is to corrupt. Okay. There's an indentation in the wall. It won't open. Come all this way in this? Hey, think it'll open with that button riddle machine from earlier. I'm pretty sure there wasn't an elevator boot switch even on the control machine. Let me think. Oh, well, uh, let you do the thinking for the both of us because I have no brain and I'm I am dumb and I have 50 IQ. <laughs> and there's something in here. This indentation. Can't think of it. The words bid thy name were written on the wall we saw earlier. Oh wait, oh yeah, the placards have something with our names written on them. Yeah, the placards. We, we had this uh, the, the entire time, holy shit. Bid thy name to God, there are names written on these two placards. Plus they're probably the perfect size to fit the wall indentation. But there are two placards, uh, one for me and one for Zach. You still Gardner? No, it's not this one. Oh, for Mr. Isaac. Okay, this one. It should have worked. Hey, don't you have one left for that over that way? It's left over. I'll throw this one away. You sure about that? Yeah. It doesn't look necessary. Don't have our shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so her name's in here now. Oh, it opened! You're getting on. Wait. Oh shit. Are we going up her now? Yeah, we're going up her. Hey, Ray. You did a hell of, hell of a job back there. What do you mean? I mean, you did a hell of a job shooting that crazy bitch. Feels like a steamroller has been lifted off my shoulders. Yeah. Man, I'm not gonna lie to Hey Ray, so what brought you here in the first place? Oh. I witnessed a murder, murder and came here for counseling. I was a dad murdered to that murder. And I awoke, I was on the lowest floor of this building. Ha, huh, that makes no sense. Tell me about it. Hmm. Oh, and the gun you've heard. It wasn't that bitches, was it? What's the story on that? This is my gun. You handed your gun all along? Where'd you get your hands on something like that? Inside my handbag. Wrapped in a handkerchief. Oh! I've had it ever since I witnessed the murder. Oh, you had it all along? You know, I didn't you just use it in the beginning. I will not kill myself. God will not forgive me. No, I didn't mean just that. Besides, you're the one who will kill me. I'm not sure if you're an idiot or smart. At any rate, 
What you did back there shooting that bitch was the right thing. It makes me laugh just thinking about it. The timing was absolutely perfect. You're in a good mood. You could say that. You too, right? Yeah. Oh, the ship is, has now been sailed, I think. We're here. What the? Hey! I don't like this. Zack? Oh shit! No! Zack? No! Oh shit, this is the end of the episode. Oh fuck. Was it? Okay, it is the end of episode 2. Oh damn, the art style is actually good. Okay, so. So, 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 so. Yeah, so. This chapter is only for Becca, right? Was it? Yeah, it's only for Becca. Uh, Becca, why am I saying Becca? Because I had to bring it called Becca. Wait, it's Betty. Yeah, it's Betty. So we had Betty, uh, the doctor, and that one dude. Uh, what was her name again? Uh, what's his name again? Yeah. So right now we're at B4, right? So. Okay. Episode 2 done in the bank. Oh, damn. Look at the art, though. It's actually good. Let's be real here. The art is so phenomenal. It's so epic. Very, very good. To be continued. Yeah, so we're done now with episode 2 of this game. Kira Kira Kira. I think it's Kira Kira. I don't know. But. Very epic fight for now. For this game. Uh, I love it, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna go continue right now to episode 3. So we had two episodes left. Episode 3 and episode 4. I hope. Those are longer episodes, but I don't know, probably two hours at most still. But I'm loving this game to be honest. And yeah, uh, what will happen to Zack in the future? We don't know. Are they gonna kill? Are they going to kill each other? We don't know. But yeah, we're gonna find that find it out in the next episode of Angels of Death. So be sure to like and subscribe. All of those shit. Comment notification bell and bye bye Chan and Watane and Arigatou gozaimasu. Janet!